the Hindus consider this confluence of river a sacred place. Despite grossly polluted, it continues to sustain livelihoods of millions of people. A variety of scenes are on view as one rows down the river. The elephants and camels into the ideal bridge, Siberian seagulls flying over Jamuna Bazaar, the stunning span of the historic Loha Pool, and worshippers lighting the Azadur. Yamuna has supported farmers since time forgotten. Although not dependent on this water anymore, it provides a prime location for agriculture. Islambai, a farmer at the Yamuna Bank, via IDU, talks of his experience. <laughs> Besides vegetable farms, this area has more than a dozen flower nurseries, some of them almost clinging to the Yamuna Bank. The government plans to plant 500,000 trees along the Yamuna Bank. This may seem environment friendly, but the displacement of farmers is inevitable. One can also observe divers picking up idols and coins among the black waters of this river to sell them. Yamuna also proves to be full of religious activities. Thousands of devotees flock around the banks of this majestic river to carry out rituals, leave the earth, and pray to the various deities near the river. Here we see the processions of Durga Puja being carried out along the banks of the river. But the present conditions of Yamuna suggest the ignorance of people not only towards the environment but also towards the religion. This holy river doesn't seem so holy after all. This river has been a habitat for various birds, many of them migratory. One can always spot these magnificent creatures near Okla, Azola, and Sukhan, which seems to us. But of quite recently, the local Yamuna guards have become a new place of interest. Photographers and bird watchers crowd around these unusual habitats early in the morning as local boatmen feed these Siberian seagulls as they fly around in circles overhead the onlookers. It's sad to see such beautiful creatures clinging onto the now infected river. Small white temple stands on the other bank, looking alone and abandoned. One would want to swim over to it and give it company, but that is out of the question because the water is black and toxic. The signboards which are to prevent people from polluting the river are themselves floating among the chemicals, plastic and garbage. We only scorn at the dirt floating in Yamuna but never care to improve it. Yamuna banks can also be a nice place to spend an evening, only if each of us decide to change ourselves a little bit. Delhi and Yamuna are heritage, be such a wonderful place.